G'day, Stu here from UAV Futures and welcome to another episode of Tech Tuesday where every Tuesday we get together, we go through some new, different or just exciting technology in the FPV drone racing world and today, well, something for you guys out there, you might be building some micro, some little small drones, we've got the Emax Micro Tower and this thing, I'm pretty excited because it's going to make builds very, very easy. So what we're going to be doing, we're just sticking it on the bench, breaking it down and giving it a bit of a quick squeeze because it's like your all-in-one sort of solution, your flight controllers, ESC, PDBs. Alright, let's check it out. Alrighty, so here it is on the bench. It just comes in this tiny little package. Nothing too special really whatsoever. You do get this little, I guess, battery adapter. I'm going to be putting like an XD30 or something on there. But let's get in, have a look at the good stuff. Now there's not much to it. It's small, it's simple, and it works. And that's kind of what I like about Tech Tuesday. It gives me opportunities to do some of these shorter videos like this. But this one, it's particularly short, I guess. And I'm also going to throw in a bit of a bonus thing too. So stick around, because at the end, I got a bit of a different product that I thought, gee, how am I going to show this off? But it was pretty interesting. Anyway, what we've got, so this is the little unit itself and you can see it's just made up of two stacks i'll flash a picture on the screen on the bottom you've got your esc and then on your top you've got your flight controller now the first thing i want to do we're going to stick this on my scales right here so turn them on let them tear it off it is really really light so it's coming in at about eight and a half grams almost nine grams so right there I mean, this thing, it's going to be perfect for some micro build. And look, I understand there's a lot of all-in-one stacks, all that stuff out there at the moment, but this thing, it's a high-quality little package, and it's going to be perfect. Like, if you're building a winter, a micro this winter, something like this is going to be an absolute godsend, because if you're trying to put ESCs on the arms and all that sort of stuff, it just doesn't work. And the nice thing about this, you can see it's connected. There's no messy wires or anything like that. So soldering this bad boy up is going to be very, very easy. Now, what we'll do, we'll start at the bottom, talk about the ESC. The whole thing is the 20 by 20 size. So you can see it's pretty small, but they're 12 amp constant ESCs on the bottom. It can rock D shot. Of course, it's a four in one, so you've got your four in one ESCs. I love the fact it can take your two to a 4S LiPo, and that's really important because look, your micros out there nowadays, a lot of people have varying voltages. Some people rock it on a 2S. I like a 3S for a micro, but it is nice that you know you can, if you want to go a little bit crazy, maybe you're going to take your micro outdoors, you can put it on a 4S. That wide voltage range is very, very important for this one. Now you can see you've just got your little solder tabs on the outside, so it should be very very easy to wire up you just got to simply connect your motors and then on the back you've got your two little battery pads so very very simple and i also like the fact that you know not only is it labeled nicely you can also wire solder it up from the bottom because i think that's important on some of those tiny little builds well you don't always have access from the top of the bottom so it's nice that they've done that and then on the top this is where we've got our little flight controller osd now honestly this one's just an f3 and i do wish it was an f4 board i think that would be a little bit better but there's not too much i can say it's rocking the beta flight osd it does come built in with a buzzer which is very important for our little micros because if you lose them, a buzzer is almost essential. You've got your little boot button right there. You know, nothing nothing too special out of the ordinary, just a pretty standard little flight controller. But I really like the fact how it comes together and it's in that nice little form package that I think is going to make some of these winter builds a lot easier, at least a lot more user-friendly. Now, if you're wondering about what gyro we've got in here, it's got the MPU 6000. It's not soft-mounted, but I don't think vibrations or oscillations are going to be an issue whatsoever because, you know, it is on such a tiny little craft. And then over here, this is just where you've got like your five volts, all that sort of stuff for your receivers, all that sort of standard jazz that's on most of our full-size flight controllers. But overall, look, that's it. I guess it's just simple. It's technology that's going to work. It's going to make our micro builds very easy. And I can't wait to put this thing maybe in like my Pico Owl or something like that. A good little micro that I can have a lot of fun with indoors. And I especially like the wide voltage range as well. Radio, so there it is. There's a Matech Tuesday. A quick look at Emax's mini tower made for micro FPV drones. And I've got to say, I do wish it was an F4, but I like how it can take a three or a 4S LiPo. The ESC seemed to be fine, and I think this is sort of the stuff I want. I want to make builds super easy, so if you're going to be building a micro frame this winter, you can put it in. It's ready to rock and roll without too much fuss. Anyway, I'll link this down below. Definitely drop some comments. What do you think about it? What else would you like to see on Tech Tuesday? And a bit of a bonus, actually. I'm going to show you guys this because, look, it doesn't deserve its own video, but I know, look, in Australia, it's getting really, really warm, but I know over there in, like, the US and the Northern Hemisphere, it's getting very, very cold pretty quickly, and, uh, this turned up the other day. I'm not exactly what the, sure the entire name of it. I'll drop the comments down. I'll drop it in the comments down below anyway or the description. But uh, maybe you want like a winter radio warmer. So if it's really cold out there, you can still fly around and not uh, not freeze your hands off. You are going to look pretty ridiculous. But I guess when you've got some FPV goggles on the face, looks aren't really the, uh, the first thing you're going after. Anyway, what do you think about this thing? <laughs> Happy flying. 
Alrighty, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel and check out these videos. And I'm also going to leave a little link here to my Patreon page because I've got some fantastic Patreon supporters and I like to give back to them as well. So if you want to join the UAV Futures family, there's things like bonus Velcro straps, little bundles of FPV goodies and things like that that also get sent out. Anyway, happy flying.